What up guys? So the idea for today's video is actually inspired by something which has kind of been on my mind the last few days. Basically the other day I was scrolling through Instagram, as you do, and um, I came across this sort of, I'm gonna call it trend, people uploading pictures of themselves or selfies and having these incredibly long sort of explanation captions of why they uploaded the selfie, like, oh my God, haven't uploaded a selfie in a while, you know, thought I would upload one, hashtag don't judge. Just annoyed the hell out of me because at the end of the day, the whole point of Instagram is for you to upload pictures that you like or you think other people enjoy and then you upload them, right? So that made me realize that I'm the kind of person who gets annoyed really easily. So I thought, why not make a video in hopes that getting these things off my chest will hopefully make them annoy me a lot less because right now they currently annoy the hell out of me. Now the first thing I wanted to mention was actually something that I mentioned in one of my previous videos in the Urban Dictionary Challenge that I did with Nadine, which you can watch over here. And we talked about something called an Isle Salmon. And for those of you who haven't watched the video, an Isle Salmon is basically a person who goes the opposite way of everyone else. So for example, if you're in like a pavement, for example, and everyone's walking that way, there'll be that one person who tries to walk through the people and walk the wrong way. You're literally being the most selfish you could be. Instead of crossing the road or like trying to form a path on the side to try and walk the opposite way, you're literally making people stop or divert their way of walking just so you can walk the opposite way. I just think it's just so selfish. Like for me, I'm the kind of person that I wouldn't do something if it's gonna affect other people in a negative way. So the fact that because I want to go that way and everyone's coming this way, I'm gonna annoy a hundred people just to go the way I want to go. I just, I just think that's just so selfish. Like that just, that just really annoys me. And in addition to walking the opposite direction of people, those people who just stop in the most inappropriate places ever. Like, for example, you're in a mall and there's like this one little small entrance and there's like a group of people just standing directly in front of the door. Like, why? Why? There's designated areas for you to chill. Like there's, there's like seats, there's like normally like benches, there's normally like a food court for you all to like just chill and relax. Why are you doing it in front of the door? Or even worse, why are you doing it in front of a staircase or an elevator? Why? That's, that again to me is another thing that just makes you seem like the most selfish person ever because you have all of these other places where you don't affect anyone but you choose the one area where every single person coming in or out has to like go around you, ask you politely to excuse me. Some people probably won't even say excuse me but you have to make them get angry or frustrated just because you want to stand there. And even worse is when you're walking somewhere and then the person directly in front of you just stops. They don't even like give you a warning, don't even make a little turn, little like kind of like signal that they're gonna stop, they just stop and then you hit into them. That's the worst thing ever. I hate when that happens because they look at you like, oh, you're such an idiot, why did you do that? Well, I'm sorry that you know you own this pavement, but I'm trying to walk too, you know? I'm trying to get somewhere too, I've got places to be as well. All right, the next one, I genuinely don't just get annoyed by it. I just don't understand the logic behind this. Like, you know how they say common sense is something that's dying? I genuinely believe that is true. I truly believe that common sense is evaporating from people's minds because these things just seem so logic to me. And I'm not like, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, I'm so intelligent, I'm Albert Einstein 2.0. No, I'm not saying I'm intelligent in any shape or form. I'm just saying, if you're able to, you know, use your mind 1%, you should be able to know that this is something stupid. And that is when you buy an item, for example, you buy a camera, you bring that camera home, you think, yes, I'm gonna be amazing right now, I'm gonna go film some epic videos, which I'm doing right now. And um, basically that was really late. Anyway, <laughs> let me leave that alone. And then you go to open that box and you realize they didn't supply you with a key element to you using that freaking video camera, which is like, for example, I don't know, a battery or a charger. Why? Why do you do that? I think I've said why like a million times in this video, but seriously, why? If I can't use this item without that necessary piece of kit, that item, as far as I'm concerned, is like a paperweight. Now, I understand when you buy a camera, they don't normally supply you with a memory card, and that is something very important to the use of the camera. But, there's a big but here. With a memory card, they don't know exactly what you'll need. Maybe you need an extremely fast memory card. Maybe you need the most fastest memory card available on the market because you're gonna do some crazy epic 3D stop motion whatever videos, right? So that, that I understand, but a battery, it's a battery. It's just something I need to make the camera work. Now I understand, I understand that they normally have a label saying that, you know, battery's not supplied or battery's not included, but I don't care, that's not good enough because that's like buying a car without an engine. Sorry, that doesn't make no sense. Another thing that came to mind that annoys the hell out of me is when, for example, you have someone in your house, okay, come and eat some snack or like drink in the, the fridge and then they leave the empty packaging or carton there. 
Why? I don't understand why you go and eat the last like cupcake or Snickers bar or whatever and then you leave the empty packaging in the cupboard. Why you don't just take that out and throw that in the bin? Why do you bring my hopes up? Why do you left me heartbroken when I open the cupboard thinking, yes, there's a Snickers left. Open the packaging to find it's empty. Why? You're an evil person. There's like a special place in hell for you. Luckily, I live alone now, so that doesn't actually annoy me that much because it doesn't really happen. But I guess if I did it to myself, I'd probably be annoyed too, so. The final thing I want to talk to you guys about that annoys the hell out of me and is probably one of the most annoying things like on a list or on a scale of the most annoying things ever, this is definitely up there in the top 10, top 100 things that annoy the hell out of me is experience. The fact that you need experience to get a job and the only way to get experience is to get a job but no one wants to give you a job because you have no experience. So how do you get the experience to get the job if no one wants to give you a job? So it's like this vicious cycle of not being able to gain experience and not being able to get a job. And this is something which honestly, I hope one day if I ever have my own company, I am not gonna be using experience as an excuse to not hire someone. I'm not gonna rely on past experience because majority of people don't have experience the first time they're looking for a job. I mean, why would you have experience if this is your first job? Because then it wouldn't be your first job, would it? It would be your second job. Yeah, I think it's pretty important to hire people like me. So anyone watching who has a job available, yeah, hire me, please, thanks. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, I ranted a bit too much that I should have probably, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to do more of these talking about things that annoy me, then believe me, I haven't even scratched the surface of things that annoy me because there is a long list, okay? So if you want me to do more of these, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also let me know down in the comments below something that annoys the hell out of you because I'm really curious to know what annoys you guys, you Kim Cheese. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys very soon. Kim Cheese, out.